Hi everyone, Sharon here. Today I wanted to talk to you about another set of watercolors that I'll be reviewing. Um, this one I got on Amazon. It's called the Pelican Transparent Watercolors set and it's really a unique set. It got great ratings on Amazon so I thought I'd give it a try. They are professional grade and they are considered to be very light fast. Um, comes with this little booklet here um, and it does say in here that uh, they're finely ground special pigments highly co high color intensity pure colors of great brilliance easily soluble in the pan very good light fastness and um, this set is a set of 24 watercolors it's very unique this is what the box looks like it's kind of curved um, these pink things pull off the sides like this. They end up hooking together with these little lips that they have on the edges like that. And then you um, use them for clean and dirty water as your water pans. Then the rest of the kit opens up like this. Um, you can put brushes, or pens, whatever inside here, and this is also your mixing tray, which will then set on this side of the pan like this. This is hard to do with, without using a tabletop. There we go. So this would set in here, or I suppose you could take it out and use this gray area for mixing too, although it's a lot easier to mix on white so that you can see your colors better. Then this is the set of the watercolors. There are two trays. One sits on top of the other, like this. So you get 24 full pans, which measure bigger than a regular pan of watercolor. Um, it's such a mess in my room, I'm sorry. Um, here are my regular full pans. Let me pull one of these pans out of here and see if I can do this without dropping any today. Come on, there we go. Okay, here's one of the pans. And they don't fall out, the, the paints do not fall out of the pans. The pans are not real deep, as you can see. Um, and they're just a little bit wider than a regular pan. so you can get an idea of how big they are. I say regular, I mean a standard standard watercolor pan. Now like I said, these are all removable. You can buy replacement pans for these and then inside um, is printed very lightly the color. This is called, what is it called? <laughs> I don't know lemon and then it's written in five languages there's two right here and then there's more here the other thing that i thought was unique about these pans um, was that you have all this area too that if you just want to mix your single color you can do it right in these areas as well you already know what they look like so um getting yourself a pool of water uh of pigment in the bottom is not an issue because you already know what the color looks like. Um, and each one is separated. You have four in each set of pans. Four in this one, four in this one, and then you've got the uh, six mixing areas here. And the large one obviously can be used for more than one color. Um, so that's what they look like. Um, why don't we go over to the table and we'll get an idea of what they look like on paper. Alrighty, over at the table now and um, I've got a little different view with my setup on my tripod today so um, I hope that you can all see this okay. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm using the actual little water containers here. Uh, I'm going to move them up a little bit out of the way though and we'll go ahead and check out each color. I'll start with the yellows. Okay. 
Now I have not wet these paints down. I'm wondering if I should. I think I'll give them a little splash of water here so that they activate a little bit. It'll give me a true sense of how the colors will actually work. Oops, I sprayed a little orange right onto my paper or red or something, so bear with me here. The lemon yellow is very transparent. So is this yellow. Here's a third yellow, which is more like a gamboge looking yellow, I would say. Um, try the orange. I'm not putting a whole lot on my brush. You can see here that just a couple swipes on my brush is all I have. Even the orange is very transparent. I'm going to go a little over this line so you can see um, that it is pretty transparent. Now we'll go on to one of the reds. Unfortunately, the English translation of the color is not in these pans, and they're so hard for me to see. I'd have to lift the pan up, I think, to see what the name of the color is. That one is also very transparent. These are beautiful. I really like the vibrancy. There's one swipe. Wow. Aren't these gorgeous? Okay. Um, I'll go to this red. One swipe. Wow. Really didn't even need <laughs> that much paint on there. Now the purple. Purples or violets are usually pretty pigmented. They're very creamy feeling and smooth when they come off onto the brush. Gorgeous colors, as you can see so far. We'll see what they look like when dry, see if they have any chalkiness to them. I'm trying to think of how much I paid for these. I think it was a little over $30, maybe 35 These are just beautiful also transparent. I'm just going to draw some lines through this so that you can see the transparency. Okay, I'm going to speed this along a little bit here. Um, that blue that I just laid down, that first one, is ultramarine blue, but it doesn't have a sedimentation like most ultramarine blues have, so that kind of struck me odd. I do like ultramarine, but maybe this is a French ultramarine. Well, it didn't say that though. It just says ultramarine. So, and then the second one that I laid was cobalt, cobalt blue. And then the third one, the deep colored one is Prussian blue. So there's really no phthalo blue in this set. They go from Prussian to that green blue, which is the next color. And then that's it for blues. But, um, that doesn't bother me so much, although, you know, I do use phthalo blue sometimes, but I could easily throw a pan of phthalo blue in there on one of the, in one of the little slots that would work fine, a half pan or full pan or whatever. Um, but anyway, um, I was trying to look at the colors on this, the names of the colors, and it's so hard for me to get the pans out. Now this is one of the cons that I have with this, is that everything is written in English underneath the pan on the tray. And then there's two other languages with it. And then there's another two languages on the outer portion of that curved mixing area looking part of the tray. But they're not English. So you know, this, this set is made in Germany. So I think that that might have something to do with it, that they put the European languages down first, what they consider are the most common, and then the English goes underneath. But I don't know. I would think that English would have been put on the outside if you're planning on selling a, 
a set of watercolors internationally, but no big deal because I don't sit and look at the names when I'm painting anyway. You eventually get used to what you're working with. But these are pretty much all standard colors, I would say, what you would get in a normal, a normal palette. Okay, the last thing I wanted to do here was to show you how this entire thing goes back together again. Um, this tray fits directly on top of the bottom tray, which is fixed in here. It does not come apart. So that fits like that. Then you take this lid out, turn it around, and set that on top of the other one. Then this snaps shut like this. It's got kind of a double arm so that it, the hinge brings it right up over the top. And then it closes like that. It does not latch, which is okay because you've got these paint paint um, containers or water containers. So I'm going to just pour that out in here. Give them a quick rinse. I got my big bowl over here. Um, just dry this out a little bit and get the excess pigment out of it. Then you just take these apart like this and then one side of these has like a little ridge on it that goes on the bottom to fit with with these little bumps. Wait a minute. Am I yeah, with the little bumps. And um, so each one slides on and cups and clicks right into there. And then this one does the same over here. And that way you don't have to worry about a latch. And you're all set to go. The other thing, too, is that, um, like I said earlier, you can put your paintbrush in there. I don't know if this one will fit. Yeah, it does fit. This is a standard length watercolor brush. And it fits just fine. Also, my my fountain pen fits as well so I can put those in there and do the same thing like that and you're all set but the reviews on Amazon were excellent I will put a link down below in the um, comment section so that you can see or description section so that you can um, go check them out on Amazon if you're interested and, um, and I, all in all, I think this is a really cool palette. The only drawback I'm finding here would be with these with these pans. Um, it would be nice if they latched together somehow. I guess you'd just put them like this and then put your mixing tray on the other side. It takes up a lot of um, surface area, though. So I don't know. I, I just don't know. Fine for a studio, but it would be nice if it was raised, if there was a bar that went up here and these were raised so that you could have a double tier, maybe. Or, oops, I am so good at dropping paints, aren't I? Well, hopefully I can um, figure out where all these go again. That's just terrific. Um, but anyway, all in all, I think the colors are really good. And... Um, the palette's a little cumbersome. So, um, anyway, that is my review. The colors do look good. They don't look chalky to me. Um, maybe if they're put on a little heavy, they do. I'm not sure what kind of binder that they're using in these. I would assume it's gum arabic because they don't seem to have that honey feel to them like some of the other paints do. And... Um, most people are not really liking those anyway because they tend to stay too mushy in the pan and you use too much of the paint up, I guess. That's what I hear. I have not tried them. But, but anyway, that is it for my review. And if you have any comments or questions down below, just uh, go ahead and put them in. And if this review was helpful for you, please hit the like button. And if you are not a subscriber, I would love it if you subscribed. And I'm going away for the holiday for a little bit. So um, I will try to post a painting video while I'm gone. I have to go bum some internet off of my sister because I don't have internet at my cottage. So um, I will try to do that. So everybody have a great Memorial weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.